Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, what a blessing. And this, and if this is your first time here on my channel, I'll leave a little subscribe sticker down below. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for lit content. And as you guys probably know from the title of this video, I'm just going to be giving you guys five tips and advice that will help you settle into this new academic year. Since our six week holiday is finally coming to an end, but and school starts on Tuesday. But I don't really want to go back. But like, it'll be nice to see my friends. This year is just gonna be so intense. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys five tips and advice that will help you settle into the new academic year. So stay tuned. First tip or advice I'm gonna start with is work hard. That may seem obvious since you go to school to learn, but like some people get sidetracked with like the friends they're into or that. But like, if you work hard, you won't be surprised with the grades you get in at the end of the year because you know you've put that time, effort, you've restrained yourself from going on your phone, watching Netflix. If you just work hard from the beginning of the year, you have nothing to worry about. The next tip I have is sleep. Like, you may say, oh no, but I have to work till 11 o'clock, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you just manage out your time wisely, you will have enough time for you to sleep. Like, sleep is something people take for granted. Like just sleeping helps you rejuvenate, makes your mind at rest, then you'll be up and alert for the next day. So like just remember to sleep, it will help you in the long run. Next tip is surround yourself with like-minded people. Like, surround yourself with people that are, are willing to grow. Like don't surround yourself with people that are like just procrastinate every day. Like those type of people will only bring you bring you down but you really want to go up in life you know collecting those good grades at the end of the year so like just surround yourself with positive people that will like encourage you to work to your full potential yeah those are the people you want to surround yourself in school that will really help you to make you go higher yeah okay so the fourth tip is that teachers are your best friend like no one likes the term teacher's pet but if you really want to get the grades just ask your teachers as many questions as possible because it's most likely that they've done a degree in that subject or they have a master's or PhD in that subject so they've been in your position before so they know how to help you yeah and don't be afraid to ask questions because at the end of the day is you that sit in your exams then you shouldn't be in the exams wondering oh what if I ask my teacher this question I may have understood it so yeah email your teachers in class asking questions so my last tip for this video is that you should just enjoy the year so you should have a good work-life balance so some nights you may go partying some nights like revise do your homework and yeah because school is not all about working well obviously if you want to get good grades you should put in like good effort but like just relaxing will actually just stimulate your brain more you shouldn't put your brain under so much stress and pressure so just enjoy the year as it goes because it really goes by quickly like the whole education system like you think you're just working 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 but you should always like just make time for yourself go out with your friends your family and that will just make you happier so just thought i'll give you guys a little quick extra tip so this tip is save your stationery on the first day of school do not go to school with a full pencil case of stationery because people will borrow it but you'll never see it again so save your money save your pens save your pencils just take what you need like you shouldn't be reading the whole class with your pens and pencils because they will take it at the end of the year have one pen and one pencil case so go save your coin so i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video like i really hope you guys take away these tips and just implement in your day-to-day -day school life especially the saving your stationary one because this happened to me like every year but especially in year seven like i actually i bought the whole of w h smith with my stationery and at the end of the year i was struggling to find a pen and a pencil so yeah just save your stationery hope you guys enjoy this video please sub like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on monday with another motivational monday video so hope you guys enjoy your transition from holiday to school life and yeah i'll see you on monday uh -huh.